You're probably wondering how I got here. It all started when I watched my first Simon Servita beat fix video. What's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Simon Servita and today we're going to fix some beats. And when I grew a platform of my own, I did what all good content creators do and I was inspired by his video. So I reached out to my community and I asked you guys to send me your beats specifically as zipped loop packages because Lord knows y'all don't know how to send zip loop packages. And I learned that the hard way. People would send me FLP files, MP3s, sometimes even just the stems to their beats. So let me show you how it's done with your FL studio project. Go into file, go to export all the way at the top option of project. You will see zip loop package, and this will give you a zipped file with your FLP and all of your samples inside of it. The beat fix video started off with the general message that your beats suck. Talk about underwhelming, but I'm going to fix it. To fix this beat drop here, we need to go to your drums because they're just not hitting, bro. I always say this somatics drum samples. They're garbage. So let's just go and give you a good 808 to start. And I want it to hit, so I'm gonna add a little bit of saturation. And I don't want as much tail on the 808, so I'm gonna make it shorter. I know this seems really complicated, but if you wanna make your drums hit, they need to be loud. So I'm just gonna boost your velocities all the way. And if you really want it to hit when it drops, you should throw in a riser. I'm going to fix it. But somewhere along the way, that changed. I started to ask people to send me their beats with a question. So why did it change? Beat fix videos, they're not searchable. And not a lot of people are searching for beat fixing videos. So in an effort to please the YouTube algorithm, I tried to make the beat fix videos more searchable by including your questions. And I got your questions. I've been producing for a few months as a hobby, and I want to know more about some mixing tips to make my melody sound less muddy, and how I can introduce a bit more variation in my beat. And I answered your questions. So to make your melody a lot less muddy, we can see that your melody is going all over the place with volume. So we can just start by throwing a limiter on here and giving your melody a bit of compression just to keep the volume a bit more consistent. If that's not enough, you can use your ears and carve out some of the sounds, but make some room in the frequencies. Primarily the low end, because we don't want all of that. And even with your individual melody components, you want to carve out certain frequency ranges. So that they're not all fighting for that exact same space. But this went away from the original message. Now it was your beat sucks and you have a question. So where's it going? I want to get it back to that original message. Bro, that has got to be the goofiest kick I've heard. We don't even need the kick. Your beat sucks. Still mix wise, it's a little messy. Now it's kind of clipping. So we want to make the 808 sound clean. We're just going to throw a soft clipper on it. And this is also going to add some more saturation. <laughs> And I don't know if you notice this, but your melody is stupidly loud. So to make some room, I'm going to turn it down. But I'm going to fix it. Whoa, bro, I just realized you can't put a bass and 808 at the same time. They take up the same frequency space, so they're just going to be fighting that whole time. But every beat has a story too. And on top of fixing it, I want to tell the story of your beat. Whether it's your first beat and you don't know how to use FL Studio at all, and your entire master is clipping. Bro, this is like basics 101, don't do that. Soft clipper on the master, you can use a limiter, whatever you choose. Or you've been producing for 10 years and you've got a very specific question you want answered. Now, if you want to add more variation to your beat and to your melody, it's always good to have like a four bar pattern, but it's even better to have an eight bar pattern. Cause on that second eight bars of your pattern, you can change things up. And even if it's just pitching things up an octave, It's a little bit more variation to your beat that you didn't have before. You can also mix up your drums and you can get creative by adding in beat cuts. Or even just by taking out some of your drum elements.
and the same goes for your melody. So keep sending me your beats, let me fix them, and tell their story. <laughs>